Hey guys, what's up? So I just want to do a quick update video. I will do a house tour for you soon, but I'm probably gonna wait until my roommates are home so you can kind of meet them. I haven't really brought out the camera yet while I've been here, so I feel a little bit awkward uh, filming still. It's kind of always strange to adjust to a new environment and filming with people in the house and stuff like that because I kind of probably just sound crazy talking to myself and I get insecure and self-conscious about that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just want to say hello and this is the new setup. I've got George right here. I've got a nice view of the parking lot out the window. It's definitely a adjustment of area. I'm about 45 minutes away from where I was, where I was before, but this is like an actual place that has people everywhere and stores and I live in like the backyard of a mall basically so that is a definitely different feeling and just haven't been in close quarters with people where I'm used to kind of being spread out a little bit more so in the country I mean not really super in the country but more so than this but uh, I can find my gym now without having to use GPS which I got a new gym and it's a little fancy. I'm excited. It has like a pool. Uh, we got a good deal here with my roommates with a family plan. So it's crazy to be like find a really good gym for less than what I'm paying now uh, because of the fact that I was in such a small town that nice gyms kind of had like a monopoly. So the pool, or so the only gym in my old town that had a pool was literally like $90 a month. And that's insane. So now I'm paying like 34 and it's a great, I don't know, I'm digging it. I think what I'm finding most uh, helpful at this point is a little bit of disruption in my life. I was thinking a bit how I was kind of in this slump, uh, whether it was post-op depression or whatever, but a little bit of disruption in your life and your daily routine can really kind of lift your spirits. And I'm a super routine type of person, but uh, I might kind of try to get a little bit more disruption in my life to not really kind of fall into the motions of things. So that is just kind of something that I've learned from this whole experience is that although sometimes new environments, new situations and routines can be hard at first, it is kind of refreshing. So on that note, I really just want to update you all on how this is all going. I'm almost completely settled and I will take you around for a house tour soon. I'm also super excited about where I'm going to be bringing this channel next. I feel like I'm going to be able to do a lot more vlogging and, uh, you know, hopefully bring you some more cooking videos, fitness stuff. And, uh, yeah. And of course, you know, keeping you updated on my phalloplasty situation and all that sort of thing. So, another video to come. That is it for now. Oh uh, yeah, Carly is with me. Come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> She's tired, she doesn't want to come see me. <laughs> Carly is with me. If any, any of you were worried that I was leaving her behind, she is here. Most of the energy that I've spent moving into this place, oh, little burp. Uh, most of the energy I've spent so far has been going to her, uh, making sure she doesn't bite ankles or uh, my roommate's dog because she tends to, she gets a little snappy at people and things, pretty much anything that moves when she's anxious. So things are improving, <laughs> but it was a little rough the first, the first day for sure. So hopefully she will continue to adjust, send good doggy vibes. And uh, yeah, say bye, Carly. Yeah, whatever. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.